Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog channel. Thanks so much for watching. Um, before I talk, get started, everything, do wanna say thank you guys so much for all your love on um, the news of Max passing. We definitely miss him a lot. Um, and I think it was one of you guys described it perfectly. You were like, just because it's like a small animal doesn't make it any less hard. Like it's not only hard when it's like cats and dogs. It's hard when it's like I've had bunny rabbits. Um, when I was a kid, we did have rats. Um, and I think that's what that girl said she had. Like we have had, like it's, it's hard no matter what. So thank you guys so much for all your love. But today, this week has been crazy. It's Thursday and I feel like it's Monday still because it's just been like one long blur. So let me put you guys down for a second. This camera is so heavy. Gotta make sure there's no bees in here. There is somewhere a bunch of bees are getting into our house and we don't know where because we've walked around the outside of the house. We have like walked around with our ears to the floor. Like we don't know but hornets have been getting in and they've been at these two windows in my closet this window and then the one in our bedroom like that's how they're trying to get out so they're coming in from somewhere and they're not sure how to get out and we can't find where they're coming in from like there are no nests in our roof we've looked there like listened up there there are none in in the floor like we don't know so this week um has been so crazy i just talked about this on my instagram stories i don't know if i told you guys so <sighs> mariah robinson llc is a thing. Um, I LLC'd at the end of last year. My accountant actually did it for me. I did nothing. I literally gave him the information and like 24 hours later, he was like, here's all four pieces of your paperwork. Um, and so I was, it, it's, it's just turned into a whole thing. And so now everything is so much more official. Like when I'm filling out a document, it's no longer just like me filling out a document. Like this is a business, my YouTube channel, my blog, my Instagram, like it is a business. And I've always treated it like one specifically in 2020. I think that's when I really ramped it up and started treating it as if it was like its own business. But like lately it has been so crazy. I've spent this week on conference calls. I've been on phone calls. I've been on emails. I've been on chats. Like it's been so hectic and I love it. It is such a blessing, but it has just been a lot. Um, so today I actually am kind of having to take a chill for a second. Okay battery died. Um, so my mom and I had to, we're going to go get trims today for our hair because my brother, oh, I can't believe I'm saying it. He gets married in nine days. Like we are officially in single digits. Actually, I just realized she texted us. His, I call her my sister-in-law. I call her his wife. I say it already. They're not married. They won't be married till next Saturday, but it already counts. I'm, um, she just texted us, but we are going to get a trim and he's actually coming up today too. He had the day off from work. So he's coming up, gonna get his hair done cause he goes to the same lady. And then I think we're also loading his car down with a bunch of stuff to take back to Rock Hill. And then we're all heading there. I think the earliest, like my family starts going is like Tuesday. Um, I think my older brother, his wife and his mother-in-law are headed that way on Tuesday. And I think they're actually staying in Rock Hill all week, kind of like making a little mini vacay out of it. My grandparents, um, they go up on Wednesday and then me, Sam, my mom and dad all go down up sideways wherever on Thursday. And then we're there till Sunday. So it's not gonna get any slower, but I'm gonna be vlogging the next week. And Kayla actually asked me to vlog her wedding. So people will always be like, you need to be in the moment. You need to not be vlogging. She asked me to, one, but two, I always say this to brides. People like, people kept like taking my phone the day of my wedding and it was annoying the absolute crap out of me. And they were like, just be in the moment. And I was like, listen, I'm in the moment, but like I want a picture real quick. My cell phone pictures and the videos I took with my phone are my favorite memories from my wedding day. Like I kid you not, I have like videos and pictures that are like grainy and dark, but like those were my favorite moments because like the photographer wasn't around, the videographer was doing something else and I like saw something and I just wanted to like snap a pic. And so yes, be unplugged on your wedding day, but like also if you can balance between being unplugged or like not being unplugged and still like taking pictures, do it because those are my favorite pictures. But she did ask me to vlog, so we'll be vlogging. Oh my God. Okay, wait, so she just sent us the schedule via text. Hold, un momento. Okay, sorry, so I was reading that text. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's been crazy and it's gonna keep staying crazy, but 
um, we're rolling with it between the business here that I run and my brother getting married and not being able to stop all of that stuff because my brother's getting married. It's just, it's hectic, but I am excited. I can't, I can't believe it. So going to get our hair trimmed and then we're going to run to Target after. I have to get some stuff for a haul on my YouTube channel on Sunday. Um, I'm not actually, you guys are seeing this video technically a day before it should go up on the vlog channel. I'm not getting a main channel video up this week on Friday. You're just going to get a vlog on Friday instead. So let me, we're going to be doing that, but I'm about to go make some kale chips. And I don't think I have shared that very, very, very simple recipe with you guys here yet. So I'm going to do that really quickly on the vlog channel. So funny. People always be like, you need to share your, um, best gluten-free recipes and you need to share all of your cooking recipes. And I'm like, if you follow me on the vlog channel, you would know I do. I do boo. So let me go make these kale chips. They are so delicious and I'm craving them so bad right now. Okay, so let me see if I can get you guys set up correctly. All right, so a couple things about the kale chips. One, do not eat kale chips around people you like. Only eat them around people you love and people who don't care that they'll, they're gonna see something in your teeth because kale chips get in your teeth. There is literally no way to get that, like, I mean, you can get it out, but like there's no way to avoid it. And when I tell you that they get all in your teeth, I don't know what it's about, but they do. Um, I am going to use this because I want to show you guys. So when you are making kale chips, obviously air fried stuff, like it shrinks up a little bit. I mean, these are leaves, you know? Um, so, oh, I just knew, I knew I was going to make a mess. So this stuff is going to kind of get a little bit smaller, but I want to show you guys how small. So I'm going to pour it in here, measure it out, and then I'll show it to you guys after it's actually fried, like air fried. Um, so you can kind of see the difference, but I'm going to do four cups because I really want a lot and four cups is right at 90 calories, right at hundred calories. Kale is a little higher in calories than spinach, but I mean, who cares? It is literally a dark leafy green. Like nobody's ever going to tell you that you shouldn't eat the kale. And listen, kale does not smell that great but it tastes heavenly. A couple things I put on our kale. There's really no recipe to the amount, just like how much you want. I put a little bit of olive oil. That actually probably looked like a lot. Salt, a lot of pepper, and then also garlic powder. Stuff comes out very easy, so I need to be careful. And then usually I would just use my hands, but I'm vlogging and I'm also about to fold laundry, so I'm gonna use some tongs for it. If the kale is not broken up, you're gonna wanna like take that time to break up the kale, but I bought this baby kale and it was already pretty broken up. I was very impressed by that. So just kind of make sure everything gets soaked in the olive oil. This is so easy. And there's honestly a lot of stuff. Like I've seen some people add like cayenne pepper. Some people add like red pepper flakes to theirs. Um, but this is super easy. So kind of note how high that is. That's four cups. Just dump it on in there. And then for the air fryer lid for the Instant Pot. Okay, air fry start 370 for six minutes. I put mine on six minutes because I like them really crunchy. So that's just gonna heat up now. I'll kind of clean up my mess really quickly. So another thing, if you've never been big into kale, it, I told you guys it doesn't smell good. Sam thinks it smells like vomit. Don't worry, it's cooling so you can lift it off. But safety feature when you lift up the top anytime it's on the Instant Pot, it's gonna, it's gonna completely stop. Um, Sam absolutely despises the smell of kale. Like it never fails. He's like, what is that smell? This is why I cut it down and make it four cups because do you see like, that's all of the kale that's in there. It's like now all dehydrated and fried when it's down here, but it is so good. So, mm. okay. I'm not gonna eat this on camera because it will get all my teeth, but I am gonna fold the laundry and I'll check. And I walked out of my house and left the camera sitting on the counter. It's just like me. So I wanted to share a couple sneak peeks with you guys of things that I got from Target for Sunday's video. Hold on one second. Okay, so went to Target, got a bunch of stuff clearly. <clears throat> I'm not gonna show you guys everything, but I wanna show you my favorites real quick. They are adorable. I think the camera lighting is messing up because of the angles in here. But look at how cute these are. They're like little 
God, these look so big. They're medium though, and I usually wear medium in Wild Fable. Oh, guess we'll see. Um, they have their dressing rooms closed, but how cute are those? They're like color block shorts, and then they have a top that matches. So cute. Lighting up a little bit. Um, so they have a top that matches. I will show you the top. How cute is that? And then, that this I absolutely love. Got this for the beach. It's a little bag. And you open it up. The inside actually looks pretty big. It doesn't look like the opening is big, but like the bag itself actually looks pretty decent. So I thought this would be a really, really cute purse for the beach. You know, just like. He's literally right outside. Sam's sitting outside to read because it's so beautiful. And Zeus is losing his ever loving mind. I also got accessories. Where did they go? Ah, here we go. Look how cute these are. Oh my gosh. I also got really cute bracelets because you guys know beaded bracelets are my thing. Also, I'm going to go ahead and put the gift card winner, her name up right here. Um, I have sucked so, so bad at doing the giveaway. I'm so sorry. Um, I just, between everything that happened last week and just the craziness of work and everything, it has completely slipped my mind. So this coming week, as in like next week, my, my brother's wedding week, we will not be doing a giveaway of any kind just because we are going to be a little bit preoccupied. We'll start them back up the following week with another gift card. Um, not quite sure where yet, but that's all I've really got for right now. Right, Doug? We got to go put all this stuff away. I need to um, get up to date on some of the stuff that I have to do tomorrow. Got to finish up some emails. Mallory did such a good job cutting my hair. And also, I'm thinking about getting extensions. Sam does not want me to get extensions, but I was talking to her today and she actually found out like how to dye color like hair my color so i'm actually thinking about getting extensions because i really really miss my long hair like i love the short hair but i miss my long hair and i don't know i keep going back and forth sam's like not a fan because he's like that's weird that's somebody else's hair i don't think he'll notice he literally would just notice the length but i don't know so that's what's really happening right now Hey guys, so it is Friday now. Um, I just finished up my Bible study. I've got to kind of do a couple things work-wise and then I have to go get a massage today. I'm so looking forward to it because this has just been the most stressful week, but even more than that, I missed my workout this morning and I am like so frustrated because I love Orange Theory and I love working out, but I woke up multiple times last night with the worst stomach ache I don't know what it was. Um, last night, we had a Zaxby's salad last night. And I'm not crazy about cucumbers. And I always forget to not ask for them on my salad when I get that specific salad I get from Zaxby's. And last night, I was just like, oh, these cucumbers are disgusting. These cucumbers are disgusting. These cucumbers are disgusting. But I ate them anyway because they were in my salad. I mean, like the whole salad was really good. And I just, I think my body just doesn't agree with cucumbers. Like, I don't know why. I, it's just always been a food that makes me just like, ugh, makes me want to gag. So I think that was probably the culprit. And it wasn't like Zaxby's fault. It's just my body. So I just feel like absolute crap. Um, my stomach hurt. And I just was like uncomfortable. But sorry, I'm like doing this on my phone. Um, but now I am about to place an order with Dime Beauty. Some of, the, some of their stuff like is really good and back in stock. Um... And I love Dime Beauty, so I'm going to place an order. And then I've got to go um, wash, finish washing up some of the Target stuff. Because when I come home from my um, massage, I have to get ready and immediately film. But I do want your help. If you think I should get extensions, tell me. I know that like some people are like, no, I like your short hair. But like, 
I do too, but I also like long hair. Sam's not, Sam's not up for it. He doesn't want me to get them because he's just like, why don't you just wait and let your hair grow out? And I'm like, well, it's easy to say when you're a man and you've never had to wait a year and a half for your hair to get the length that you want it when you can pay a lovely stylist to do it in a couple hours. Well, a few hours. Um, she did such a good job on my hair yesterday though. She always does. I will link her info below for you guys actually. So I get questions from time to time who I go to. I don't get my hair dyed from her because um, my hair is, this is my natural color, but some of my family members do. She does an amazing job. And not only that, but like every single time she cuts our hair, colors my family members hair, styles it. Like she always does such a good job. And she is the only hairdresser I've ever had that listens to you every single time. Um, like that's, I've had so many hairdressers in my life just be like doing whatever they want. And she is like the only one who actually listens. So she goes, she's Mallory. She's at, um, Simply Divine Studio, Highway 9, Bull and Springs. She used to be in Spartanburg, but yeah, she was in Spartanburg, like by Converse where I went to college, um, like right across the street. Then they moved to downtown Spartanburg. So she moved to a different salon. That's like a little bit more central. Um, so gonna link her info below but I gotta get moving on some of this work and stuff but just tell me your opinion like do you think I should get extensions because I want them so bad